Hey everyone, Dylan. Mm. So I missed last week, which we're, I guess um, we're doing coming out stories. And um, this week, I'm not sure if it's about bowling or about body dysphoria and image. So I'm just going to talk about all of them. Um, my coming out story. I told my mom first. She was the first person I told that I was... Uh, at the time I told her I was bisexual. And, um... She was the very last person to accept any of it. So... But she accepts it now, so... Whatever. Um... I told my friends one by one and like my best friends and but I told one of my best friends in confidentiality but she told my other friend because I wasn't ready to be out out like but she told other friends anyways she said that as long as I never hit on her that she was fine with it little does anybody know she was the first girl I had sex with so and she's the one who made a move on me anyways um okay so I told people one by one and eventually I was like fuck it whatever I, it's not like I didn't hide it but I, was, I wasn't out there saying like hey everybody I'm gay like Actually, I probably did wear my bracelet and <laughs> was like, hey, I'm just kidding, but, um, eventually came to terms with the fact that I am not, I wasn't even into guys, and, um, when people would ask, like, are you gay? I'm like, yeah, I'm pretty gay. I wasn't obviously gay, I mean, before I had long hair and, like, you couldn't really tell, I was, uh, I guess I was a femme. I don't know. I just really didn't have a... Didn't know what I was doing with my life. I wasn't comfortable in my body. Um, anyways, now I don't really need to come out to people. So, I don't have much of a coming out story. It, it honestly just... One by one and then eventually whatever. Everybody kind of knows now. I just remembered that um, I recently came out to someone I never wanted to come out to ever. Uh, I had um, an R ROTC instructor. <coughs> and you can imagine, I mean, this conservative, old-fashioned guy. Um, I, I was on the phone with him, and I was dating a girl at the time. And, um, He's like asking me like about guys, and uh, I mean this is I haven't seen him since last year, before school started, like last year. It was during the summer, um, so I hadn't even cut my hair yet. Um, anyways, said that I was talking to somebody, and he's like, "Who's the lucky guy?" And I was like. And I kind of beat around the bush about it, you know, because I was kind of scared to come out to him because it's like, this guy uh, was my mentor throughout, um, he's been my mentor since I met him, so, uh, what, six years almost? Um, yeah, it's been six years. Um, I then told him, I was like, I don't date guys. And he goes, why didn't you tell me before? Like, I hear him, his voice on the phone, he's like, I always supported your decisions, and you have a good head on your shoulders, and blah, blah, blah. Like, and I was like, thinking in my head, I'm like, why the fuck did I not come out to him earlier? We could have talked about things, and I didn't have to hide around pronouns and whatnot 
I'll discuss our next topic of bullying. Um, I was bullied in the eighth grade, and that's just because I was really shy and didn't know anybody, and they were kind of just all assholes, and I pushed a lot and tripped and called the freak and all that stuff. And so I was in eighth grade. Um, I had just moved to this. I had just moved to Corona. And, um, that's what happened. And, um, now, I mean, I get called things. I wouldn't necessarily say I'm bullied, but, like, sometimes I'm called things or flipped off just because, I, I guess maybe because I look gay or maybe I'm doing, I don't know, maybe I'm doing something weird and I just don't know it. But people, like, people are just kind of rude. But, whatever. I don't really get bullied. I'm against bullying and, yeah, I've never bullied anybody. And, our next is body dysphoria and image. Um, I just don't like my boobs. Like Jake, I, I just really don't. But that's why I have a binder. So, I like the days that I'm really not feeling my boobs, I'm like, Boom, put it on, don't have to deal with it. Um, I don't really want a penis. Um, I wish I had guys' boobs, though. They're, they're, I like man boobs. Like, I wish they were on me. That type of thing. Like, I don't know. I mean, I'm never going to get top surgery, because, I mean, some days I do put on the girlier clothes and I feel more feminine and if I had guy boobs I wouldn't be able to do that so I mean I guess I'm like just really happy I have a binder because I mean I can't I can't pass as a guy sometimes so I don't know um I I just feel comfortable I can feel comfortable with basically whatever I do so I mean I'm not really dissatisfied with my options, I guess. Never gonna get surgery or anything like that. Um, before, I mean, I, I guess I did have a lot of dysphoria. But that's also when I was very confused with gender and the idea of gender and stuff. And I mean, just I guess for, for me, just being genderqueer has um, really helped a lot with understanding and not really have to, I, I'm just really okay with myself, and I don't know. I guess that's all I have to say. Um, have a good weekend, and whatever. Um, yeah, so. This is uh, my Friday video for the collab channel, and I might be making another video for my own channel later today or tomorrow. I sometime. So, okay. Bye.